Welcome back to Next Silver Rides. In today's episode, we're making our way to Vancouver for the Vancouver Driven Show. So stay tuned and we'll get at it. So I made it to Vancouver. Um, it was relatively uneventful other than one of the wheel weights deciding it wanted to go on a magical trip up and off the wheels. So we're just waiting at Nissan for them to rebalance them quick. We're here a day early from the car show. So because it's my birthday, we're gonna go to CG Motorsports, I believe in Richmond. So. We're gonna go take a peek, see what they have in the store after we get this wheel or wheels balanced. So let's see what they got. All right, so we got the wheels balanced. Now we're gonna test it on a high speed run. Just kidding. We're not down in Mexico. We're down in Burnaby, Guadalajara. We're heading on our way to CG Motorsport. I guess the one weight was up and gone and needed 1.5 ounce, so that's a lot on a Beamer. So we should be good now. All right, adventure time, let's go. So we're here at CG Motorsports, which was highly recommended for us to go take a peek. We ended up walking around, met the owner Chris, and ended up looking at a few vehicles he has in the back. One being an E92 M3 with a root style supercharger, which was pretty sweet. It was really neat to see all the finer details at the shop. The Mini on the back wall in the workplace out back, and the E30 in the bathroom up front. Really nice, cool, reputable, and well-known shop around the Richmond area that I highly recommend everyone to go take a peek and visit. Holy sh! it's 228 a liter. 228. I have never paid this much for fuel, ever, ever. Okay, well, as uh, the BMW drinks up, it was good to meet Chris at CG Motorsports. That was a pretty sweet place. That was really cool. It was really nice meeting good people. All right, so we're gonna head home and uh, see you tomorrow at Driven. As you can see, we're here at Driven, so let's see what they got. Oh, there's a Firebird. Man, oh, it has an LS. Oh, that's crazy.
And it has louvers. This is awesome. It's my old <laughs> car. Did you see the motor? That's what I wanted to do. That's sweet. Yeah, it's just, I, I don't know what LS is, but it looks you like a 5.3. This isn't even a Trans Am, this is an Esprit. Yep. Right? Yep. No flare, no, no, no lip, mm -hmm. no flare. Look, no at, <clears throat> look at the wheel. Yeah, that's an Esprit. It has louvers, that's weird. Uh, no, this, in the 80s, this was super common in, in Alberta. Every Camaro and Firebird had those. My dad had one, and then somebody ripped them off. Mm. So that's why I was like, oh, it has louvers, because they're so hard to come by now. Yeah, because they all got stolen or broken. Yeah. But he had the louvers and the curb feelers. So it looked yeah. like, a, it's kind of like a peace sign yeah, right yeah, up the side. Dad, yeah, and it's scraped yeah. along, and when you make contact on both, it lit up a light, a bulb on the dash. It's kind of neat. It has a CRV engine. Or it's maybe the B18. Oh, you see the wing? Oh. Oh, that is weird. It's like a Mugen style, but it's like a red tint carbon fiber. That is cool. Oh, that's cool. How do you throw corners? So my first car was a Slowly. And then pin it. It's like the most sought after Honda ever now. Yep. I should have bought one when I had the chance. It would have been such a good car. I could have bought one new. I could have bought one of these. It was a 90, 96 with the black headlights. So those are 98 headlights, twin turbo, six speed, 12 grand. And now they're 80. Pace Hello. car. That's an original pace car. Oh. Turbo off. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a 4.9. And the uh, the manual or the motorized antenna that always broke. Yep. Didn't these have the turbo run off one bank of the V8? Yeah. It was dumb. yeah. yeah and then it was tipped straight up with a blow through carb, I think. And it's a 4.9. Yeah. Right. But it really wasn't a 4.9. It was something to do with the heads or something. Super cool. This is exactly in my interior, except my interior was dark brown and tan. I remember. I love the T-tops. Does that bring back memories or? What, fixing mine all the time? Fixing your Subaru all the time. Yep. That's something else. It's an Ultima SCR. These are cool. Yeah, what is happening in there? Everything. This is a whole thing in Japan, making it like extra, extra VIP. Yeah, there it is, right here. Junction Produce. So they basically would have a bunch of different products. So they would have like the curtains, you'd have your chandelier, you'd have like a samurai sword handled umbrella, but it's extra, extra VIP. So you'd have like champagne flutes and all the high-end whiskeys and stuff. Yeah, that's a very, very Japanese thing. Oh, it's left-hand drive. Yeah. That's a, uh, oh, that is so cool. It's a timeless look, you know what I mean? It doesn't really seem to age. No. That's kind of neat. A bunch of done up Teslas. And I'm okay, an old 300. That's the 300 I'm talking about. That's the one we wrecked. Oh, that yeah. style, that's my favorite one. Okay, yeah, yeah. I still have a, these are growing on me. Mm -hmm. Like S14. Yeah. RB20 with a little Borgie looks like. Oh. He's sleeping. C4 
four. Oh, I didn't think I'd see that. C4 vet with a, looks like a 1J. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Oh, when it's he pulled, not he, finished. He pulled the fiberglass spring out too and put a little mini coil over it. Right? It's normally a fiberglass spring across. Oh, weird. You see this is a Corvette with a... Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's an RB26. Oh, that is super cool how they did that. Infinity mirror. Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's only a couple inches deep. What is the infinity mirror? Which? The infinity mirror. Oh yeah, they're only like that. And then you mirror and glass creates the effect. That is so weird. I remember you used to get these for Ten? Yeah, he came down to Vancouver to test drive one Chris McWinnie. Yeah. Build for you, not them. I built an FRS, it'd be like this. I, I don't know, I love the yellow. Man, I love that piping with the stock turbos. Oh, it's tripping me out, the decal. You see it? Yeah, yeah. That is cool. That is really cool. And it's carbon. Oh yeah. Man, that's cool. Oh yes. Redox Supra. Nismo V-Spec? Doesn't say, but it's really nice. It's all like, you know, finned, like it's an off-road light with yeah, the yeah. fins on the back. I, and now call me weird, but I would definitely drive one of these yeah. from Calgary to Vancouver. Hell yeah. Absolutely. It's got mufflers. It's got a, 
It's got mufflers. You'd have to stop every little town or city, but that is cool. So we just spoke with Frank from PG Performance. Really nice guy. Who knows, maybe I'll trade in the Beamer for uh, the four rings. So let's see what else is here. And then uh, maybe get, find some sort of a meet later this evening. Man, that's cool. So we're at the uh, meet at Richmond at the chat time. Post driven show. Yeah, I don't know if it's a weekly thing, but yeah, kind of neat. Definitely nicer quality cars than you would see back home. All right, let's go check out some cars. Let's buy M3, M3, 340. The blue is super nice. <coughs> I don't know if the 340 came in that blue or if it's a 335. I think it's a 335. Man, there are a lot of TE37s here. And the real ones, not the fake ones. Mm, nope, that's uh, that's Calgary's quality of car show, regular traffic. Yeah, this is the row. 
Super nice. That one's way nicer. It's like a hundred, hundred twenty thousand dollar GTR now. Type R, Type R, Type R. That's awesome. And they're all left-hand drive too. These are worth a small fortune now. There's a Kanjo Civic. Something that you'd see go race on the Osaka Loop. Man, that's sweet. Yeah, you can hear it's supercharged. <clears throat> this is super nice. I hate that I'm starting to like them. Wow. It's so nice, like, I knew someone that had a green one just like this. Man, the quality of cars here is just so much better and so much higher. You've got an M5, wide body, with a full cage in it. That's crazy. That might be, might be stock body, but still, like, that is super cool. Like, look at it, it's gutted. But that's kind of neat though, like Tesla, it's kind of neat. That is so weird. Wide body Tesla on air ride and TE wheels. So that was Richmond's car meet. Um, definitely a lot different than Barlow by far. Uh, the quality of the cars is much higher. You can see that people take a little more pride in their vehicles out here as opposed to uh, butchering a car and making it loud for no reason. So I think we're gonna end that there. We're gonna head to the island in the next couple of days. If we see anything interesting, we'll bring it to you guys. If not, take care. We'll see you on the next one.